Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 3rd of March. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 6. Children's children are a crown to, to the aged, and par parents are the pride of the children. So, three generations here. Family, let's talk about family. And uh, we know that family has got a very important place in the Bible. Uh, there are expressions used for, for the couple, for the children, for the family in general that is going to be used as well for the spiritual family. Actually, in the New Testament, the church is called the bride of the Lamb. And even the word for not to know God, the verb to know God, comes from a word that means, uh, that talks about a very, very close relationship between uh, two people. Adam knew Eve, and then she became pregnant. And then the prophets say, you should know God, using the, sa the same verb. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God is the one who created family. And he's going to say in Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, the Lord said, the Lord God said, it's not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. And this person is a woman, both created in the image of God. God gave man to a man to a woman, a woman to a man. And then, of course, he's going to bless the children because in Psalm, so, Psalm 127 verses 3 says, Children are a heritage, heritage from the Lord, offspring, uh, offspring are a reward from God. So children are blessed as well, uh, the, 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 cup, the couple and the children. And of course, if today you are who you are, it's because of the grandparents, great-grandparents, parents you had. And today, even now, you are, you, are, you, are, uh, you, are, you are going to plant for the future of your children, your grandchildren. So if you are blessed, your family will be blessed as well. That's why God has given us eternal life, has given us his grace, his love to change completely, to, to take away from us everything that would uh, um, damage the the image of him in us. It's a time of completely restoration. He's a, a time for changing that comes from God. There's not going to be children that are loved if we are not changed today. God wants to bless our children and our grandchildren as well. Do you pray for your grandchildren, even though your children are, are not even married and they, they haven't got children yet? The blessing through different generations, many, many generations. And when you walk in the light, your children will walk in the light as well. And of course, because of sin, because of the fall, um, separation will come, destruction will come. But that's not in the original plan of God. When Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went into the region of Judea, to the other side of the river Jordan. Large crowds followed him, and he healed them, them there. Some Pharisees came to him to test him. They asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? Haven't you read, Jesus replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. What God has joined together, that's what the plan is. Of course, divorce exists, but it's not in God's plan. Separation will come, but it's not in God's plan. God wants the family to be united, to be together. God bless you and bless all those, bless all those cho cho children and families who are fleeing um, areas where there is war today. Not, not just in the Middle East, but even now in Europe as well. God have mercy on us. 